Sarah, you have a question? Sorry, I forgot to change my name. Oh, by the way... You uh, checked, right? Yes. Also, I want to change... I want, I want to turn in my homework. Remember you told us that we had homework? The very yes. Can't we turn it in? Yeah. Can you show us what you've done or no? I can. Hang on. Tell me what you've done. Do you know how to share screen? Uh, okay. Just, just show oh, us I, what, I what you've done. I can't, I can't really share the screen because... Okay, that's okay. Because, so well, it's on my iPad, but I, can show, but I can show it to you through this screen or something. Okay, let me stop sharing first. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me find it. Okay, now you can share. And now, I, wait, no, I, I'm not sharing the screen, I'm just taking it. Okay. So, so pin me, pin me. Pin, hang on. All right, what to do? It's a very complicated program. Tell so, me what the program does. So if if um, so if the total velocity, which means if it's moving greater than four, then it rose forty five degrees at forty six seconds at forty six speed for one second forty five degree. Okay, I know I it just goes everywhere, and then. If it does a a a a a and then rip Spiro and then and then exit the program, else if it doesn't move, then the coin drop will sound and then yay. Okay, but, can you demonstrate? But, Run it. So I tried my best, but I actually forgot your last name, so I have to be creative. So that's okay. Let me turn up the volume for both devices. Yep. So now I'm going to start. Wait, let me just connect it first. Yep. Okay, it's now connected. Now let's do. I'm going to test Dr. Peter Emil Binet with Emil's Don't Move Variable. I will volunteer even if it costs me my life. And then? I, I just did that because I even. I survived. I just did that because I even forgot your last name, so I just got creative, and then you were the son of and will Ed, Edward Emil. Okay. All right. I'm you move going it. to test Dr. Peter Emil Ben Edward Emil's don't move variable. I will volunteer even if it costs me my life. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, now it's crazy. Okay, I think we should start a class. I'm going to share the screen first. So, you go to Spiro Mini, Spiro Add You App. You need to connect your Spiro Mini. By now, you should be able to know how to do all of these, right? This is less than five. So, connect to your Spiro. And then, first thing you have to aim. I hope by this time you should know how to aim. You make sure the dot facing you. Once you aim, you go back to here. Okay. And then you create a program. Program, maybe this one called week five. Five. So this program called week five. All right, every everybody on this. Shitaro, you have a question or anything? Let everyone see. Shitaro, you have to unmute. Um, I just I just wanted to show you what I made. That's okay. We we can talk about it later. Yeah, just 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 leave it later. We we can talk through it. Basti, you raise your hand. 
Hi, uh, yes, yeah, sorry, first day, yeah. So we just, we've got everything uh, loaded. Um, so just wanted to just, if you could just go through that start thing just a bit slower. Okay. So you, have you got a Spiro Edu app? Yes, we've got it, sure. Spiro Edu app. You start it, you will say something like this. Um, we've got Spiro is... Firstly, have you have you charged up your Spiro? Your Spiro yes. has to be charged up. Okay, yes. good. Yes. And then you set up Spiro Mini program. It should come up like this. Okay, Spiro Mini. Yep. And then on the bottom. The next thing. Yep. Bottom okay. right, there will be um. You see the icon. There you go. Yep. You click on the this one. Tap to end. Oh. Okay. Oh, you try to connect to your Spiro Mini. Yes, doing it. And then you All tap right. on that. And we connect. Done. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. All good? Yep. Thank you. It, okay. So you if you look at if you connect, you can see on the, the top right. It's it's connected and then they can tell you the battery of your spiro. My one I fully charge. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you need to go to the bottom right and you have to click on the M. This is very important. Yeah, click on the M. M? Yeah. yeah. Once you click on M, you will see this circle. Until the blue light tail faces you. So make sure you rotate so that the blue light facing you. You will see a light turn up on the Sphero. Yep. You need to rotate to make sure it's facing you. Otherwise, your Sphero is going to go everywhere. Okay, Good. got it. Thank you. All done. Now, go to the Week 5 program. Start. First mm -hmm. thing. So last week, we learned, we learned about if. Then else, remember, we try to I, I, I try to go through again a little bit so that otherwise you will be first thing you say look forever. Okay. And then you will have a if. Look. There will be an if statement in the operator. In the control, actually, control tab, you can see the if, then else, and then. You all here? Everyone here? Thumbs up? No. No? Is it okay. Programs? Oh, yeah, okay. By tapping the plus. Okay. Name your program. There you go. Oh, week five. Yeah. You name week five? Yeah. Just yeah. we're in week five now. Week five. And then on the bottom here, you 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 can see this. You can rotate there, and then you click on the control tab. You will see all of this. The first thing you do is look forever, which is you drag that one out like this, and then you will see. If okay. then else, which is that, Control. and then you drag Control. that. Everyone here? Everyone on the same page? Oh, I'm going to the beginning. Yeah, look forever. Look forever. Good. Thumbs up. Now, you, you go to comparator. You, look what it does. you see that comparator? Maybe, maybe you do something. I don't want to start. Yeah, you got it. If robot is mini, then sound, speak. I am 
uni rocket else fix i am a huge rocket so what does it say if robot let me help control not speak you have to put the next one in if robot is mini then so if robot is mini is in comparator comparators yeah. you have to click on comparator yeah. all right can anyone say tell me what this program going to do when you start the program Dorado, where's Dorado? Let me see. Yep. Can you unmute Dorado? Um, when you start the program, if your robot is a mini, huh? you'll say when. Your robot is a mini. The your you will say I'm a mini rocket. But if it's some a different um superhero, um it will it will say I am a huge rocket. Okay. So because I have a zero mini, they will say I'm a mini rocket, right? Let's let's let play it. Okay, so they could say I'm a mini rocket. So this is the conditional statement is the if then else. Okay. Now I want to expand the program. I want you to move the if block on the start. Like this. Now we do something more cool. You got to sense it, you got to, um you got to control. If and then you go to comparator, put a comparator in. And here you go to sensor. You put the accelerometer on your. Anyone know what comparator does? Uh, I slowly wrote a uh, Josh. Josh, can you unmute Josh? Um. If you have it as um, if then else, mm -hmm. if, if it's on if, then it does something, and if it's on else, it does something. If okay, if I'm, well, I'm asking, do you know what comparator means? Comparators. Um, yeah, it's like two it's just different pair. Yeah, it's just to compare things, right? So, yeah. So, Comparator will return true or false based on the two value, what we put in. So in here, if we say if the accelerometer is greater than four. Now, maybe we do something else. Maybe we That. So, and then we can go to the sound. We can speak. I am fly. And then you can control, you can wait for maybe three seconds. Else can do the star. Maybe you just 
Sam. Play. Explosion, for example. Okay. So, what this program does at the beginning, they will say, I'm a Spiro, I'm a mini rocket because I have a Spiro mini. And then they wait, they check. If the accelerometer, you know, anyone know what the accelerometer, accelerometer means? Michelle, you have a question? Yes, you I can lost, speak. I, I lost track of what you're doing. Uh, where are you up to now? Uh, I'm up to this. The loop forever, You have you gone up to loop forever? No. Okay, so this part, you, you go control, you will hit, you could see the loop forever there, you see it? Track uh, it there? Yeah. And then from here, you will see another one called if then true, if true then, you drag it there. You see that? That's equal to this. Yeah. And then in here, you will see a comparator. You track a comparator here. You see the, the first the first thing up in the comparator section, you will see that you can put this one in. Comparator is just to compare things. Okay. And then you go to sensor. You will see a accelerometer, which is this. You track on the left part of the comparator. Okay. And then the middle one, you do greater. Then in here, you just put four, whatever number you want. Maybe four is enough. You see that? It's similar to this. The speak will be in the sound section. And then there will be a delay in the control section. Got it? Yeah. Okay, good job. All right, if you don't have virtual shell, Ishak, you can just play random sound. You go to mechanical. You will see collision. Maybe we put less than here instead of greater than. Okay, so what this program do? Say so if the accelerometer of this one, of this Spiro Mini here, less than four, we mean this stays still like this, right? They just say I'm flying. And if you actually throw it, that will play a collision sound because the accelerometer now is greater than four. They will go to the L's. They will go to the L section. They will play a collision sound. And if not, if you hold the spherophilly still like this, they will keep saying, I'm flying. Okay, let's start the program. See, they will say I'm flying. Now I start throwing my rocket. Don't throw, just hold it. Pretend you throw it.
Ah. Yes, my collisions. Oh, because maybe I put number is too small. Oh, we just look at x axis accelerometer. And then let's start again. Maybe we do take this one now. We try the velocity greater than phi. That's that. Let's see. So this oh the number is too low, so you have to be maybe about six, six, six the best. Okay, so because uh, the, the accelerometer is, is a bit hard to, to calibrate, so you better to choose, instead of accelerometer, you choose velocity. So if the velocity is small, six, it means you hold the spiral mini still, like we say I'm flying, but if you start trying to roll the spiral mini or start pretending to throw it, they will play a collision sound, pretending to the rocket to hit something. Okay, so I leave it here. A program for you to copy and try to play on your end. Meanwhile, I can start addressing questions. Michelle, you have questions? Yes. No, I don't. I accidentally forgot to unraise my hand. Okay. Ishak. Um. So when I'm not moving the sphere in my hand, I am a mini rocket. It does a collision sound. What did you put in the if? It says if total. Accelerometer is no, no, uh, accelerometer uh, is a bit hard. You do the velocity for me. Uh, you you remove the accelerometer. I figured it out. Uh, yeah, you put the velocity for me. No, I I did I did if total accelerate accelerometer is greater than six, then I am flying. Oh, is that what you do? Then you have to keep moving your Spiro Mini. If you stop it, they will pretty much That's play the collision good. sound. But, but with the six the and the five, but sometimes on the four, um, when I kept shaking it, it won't even work, even when I threw it on the bed. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's better to choose velocities. It's easier to do. Wait, let me let me accelerometer uh, is it's uh, relying on to your increasing your speed and uh, the number is, is a bit tricky that's why i, I changed to the velocity okay i kind i fixed it okay. also can we also also can we uh 
at the end of the class, if we have any time, can we demonstrate some things? What for we sure, have done? for sure. Uh, we leave about ten minutes before the class end. Mm -hmm. So I remember Shotaro want to show something. Also, you want I to show want something? to show something. Okay. Monisha. Yep. So I forgot to put it down, but the accelerometer uh, didn't work. So I yeah. changed it to velocity. Now it works. It works well? Yeah, it yeah, works. Accelerometer is dependent on you on the speed. It It's on the, um, the change of your speed of your speed also is a bit hard to trigger. Yeah, so you change to velocity is much easier. Okay. Dev? Dev, you have a question? You raise your hand. Oh, I can't hear you. Busty. Hi, how do we, we, we put something in, um, we put an if to then in the wrong place. How do we take it out? How do we? Okay, so what you do, you just drag it out. You will see I've tried the, and it's taking the whole lot. <laughs> no, you you just take whatever you want to take out like this one. You just take the piece out. It will come out and then you put it into the bin in the bottom. You see that? Look at the screen. I just take this piece out and put it into the screen. It will be disappear. So I'm taking it out, but then it's taking it's taking the whole lot out. So we, we just want that one out, and I'm trying to take it out. It's taking the whole thing out. Now you take the if out, then you just drag the if out. I'm trying, but it's taking the whole thing. Now you, you have to touch on the right block. You have to touch on the block, not to touch on the big block. You have to touch on the, the block that you want to take out. Let's say if I want to do, okay. take out the... You got it? Good job. Thanks. Thanks. Catherine. You unmute Catherine. Can I show you um the thing that I made? <laughs> okay, you can. You want to demonstrate? Hello First question. everyone, it's a nice day. Hello. Sorry, I'm just going to mute for a second. <laughs> okay. Dev, you have any questions? Um, it's, it's a bit hard to hear you that when you speak like close to the I, I did the sorry it's a bit hard to hear you maybe you time the chat good job everyone well done Basti first class you managed to do it well done Okay, we're going to move to the next program. This is the last week program, pretty much. We want, I want to revise because it's very important. It does not play collision depth. You need to change to velocity. And in here, you have to use the comparator, which is less than zero, uh, less than six. You just take a small number. So, you don't you don't use accelerometer for this one. You use the speed and the velocity, which is this one. Make sense? It will work. Do you do the comparator less than six or smaller than six? You this? Uh, it does not play collision sound. You have to hold the spiro mini. 
and you have to move it quite fast. You can't just leave it on. You have to hold it and then you keep moving it, pretending like you throw it. It will work. Okay, let me know that. Busty. If you want to make a ramp with it, how would you do it? Make a what? Make it like a ramp, kind of. Ramp. Make it go on a ramp. <laughs> I'll make it like in a circle. Yeah. Uh, we cover it in lesson two. Okay. Maybe you watch the, the YouTube. Send, send me a uh, send brilliant kids a link, an email, and then they send you the link. You maybe you watch that. We covered the uh, we covered all the movement in um, the second lesson. This is we learn about conditional statement, and we we start learning a bit more on the sphere of meaning. Okay, where do we find those links? Uh, send you send an email to brilliant kids. They will send you the link. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now we're gonna, I assume everyone done. We're gonna delete everything. We're gonna start a new program. Did I will make on start program. First thing you'd like, put the main light to blue, or to, maybe you do red. Again, you do control, you do loop forever. And you do if, maybe you do if, if else. Then you go to comparator. Put the comparator in. You go to sensor. Okay, if you look at the Spiro Mini, everyone, Stop doing following that. Just look at Sphero Mini. There will be three sensor, uh, three um, gyroscope, right? And the gyroscope will we try to detect you the rotation of the Sphero Mini. Okay. And there are three types. If you look at that, there will be a pitch, which is when it's roll. The pitch. And the, the roll type, the pitch type, and the yaw type, depending on the actual uh, rotation of the Spiro Mini. So three types. So this one, we pick on the yaw gyroscope. And greater than six, then Ray from red to blue over five seconds. Else, ray from blue to red over five seconds. Okay, so the yaw gyroscope will detect if you if you touch on that is the horizontal rotation of the Spiro Mini. It's a horizontal. Okay, it's a horizontal. If you look at the um, the side, it could be horizontal. If it's greater than zero, it means it rotates clockwise. If if that less than zero, it means it rotates counterclockwise, anti-clockwise, okay? It's gonna go anti-clockwise if it's less than zero. If it's greater than zero, it will be clockwise. So what this program though is, they will detect if you rotate your Spiro Mini. If it go clockwise, it will fade from red to blue. 
is starting from red and it will fade from red to blue. And if not, I will fade from blue to red. Maybe I do two, maybe just do two seconds and then make it easy faster. Okay. Now let's start the program. At the moment, my square menu is red. Now anti-clockwise, there will there will fade to blue. And then if you rotate anti-clockwise, it will fade to red. Maybe I do five seconds. Maybe I do five seconds better. We just twist around, make sure it works. And then do a sound, not a sound. Let's have do a speak. Um, rotating. Clock. Clockwise. Else, speak. Yes, we don't care. That's it. Let's start the program. Okay, so I leave the program for you. So what you do is all you need to do, once you do the program you started, you just use the Spiro Mini and rotate in your, in your palm. They will start speaking, they will know. If you rotate clockwise, they'll say I'm rotating clockwise. If not, then I will rotating anti-clockwise. I leave for you for a few minutes. If any questions, feel free to ask me. And then the last few minutes, we will get everyone to demonstrate what they do. Michelle? Uh, how do you, how did you get to that part? I lost track. Which part? The where are you up to? The all the all one. The yawn. Yeah, the gray, the gray. I'm spinning. Check. 
change that. Okay. You mean here? The gel triroscope? Yeah. Okay. You get it from sensor. You will see the gyroscope. You drag it down. You touch on the pitch. There will be a yawn. There will be three options here. Pitch, row, or yaw. And what you do is you choose the yaw one. And then you drag over it to here. Make sense? Yeah. OK. Yeah. Because the yaw will rotating the x axis, the row will detect the row, and the pitch will be so. It's a three axis, x, y, and z axis, depending on which one. And today we we learn about gyroscope and we experiment with one of them. There's a lot of sensor in the sphero, so you can do a lot of very cool things. Okay. Velocity, you have any question? Hi, sorry. Is it supposed to be is it supposed to be rotating now or no? I'm rotating anti-clockwise. Now you you hold a spiral and then you start rotating. Oh, I start rotating it. You rotate spiral meaning they will detect. No, no, no. You use your fingers just to rotate. Oh, it. like that? Yes. Ah. And then you rotate back. Okay. Okay. Um, we rotate it. Okay. They can't rotate. Well, if you want to do the other thing, this is today the the, the topic is about the conditional statement, the loop, and yeah. learning about the sensors. Yeah. Um, all the movement is covering in the movement, the light in lesson two and three. Lesson two. lesson two and three, we already cover movement, light, Today we're covering sensors, a conditional statement, loop. So you you can uh, you can watch the YouTube. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, you just put your hands and rotate, and it was magically the program will detect it and start speaking. It's like they can see what you're rotating. That's pretty cool. All right, now, this is the time that you learn this stuff. I just teach you just the basic, right? You, I leave you to experiment the program. You don't have, this is like you copy, you learn how to do it, but now you can, you can basically do the whole story with Spiro Mini, for example, right? Like for example, I just give you the scenario, let's say, the starting program say I'm a rocket, and then, and then you just, Rotate left and say, I'm flying left. I'm flying clockwise, I'm flying left. You you, you rotate anti-clockwise and say, I'm flying left. And then you rotate right and say, I'm flying right. And then you start pretending to throw it and say, I'm going to hit you and then boom, so you can make, you can make the whole program like that with Spiro Mini, right? You can do a lot of cool things. I teach you just the basic things so that you can do that, but you can do, a lot of cool things with it. Um, I leave you a couple of minutes just to experiment it, and then it's time to demonstrate your work. I want to see what you've done, what you come up. Ishak. I was just keeping my hand up so so I could demonstrate. It's time to demonstrate what you 
you've learned and what you create out of that. You oh, can do a lot yeah. more cool things. So you don't need just to copy what I've done. To do more. Not... Okay, great jobs. Wait, I, I did actually copy it because I because I was just learning the your gyroscope, I don't know. Yes. But I've been making a lot of cool things. So show so, me. So I made um so I made a replica of a of a video game, um, a Sphero massage. A Sphero massage. <laughs> Sphero. And obvi and disco sphero and obviously the road raging sphero. All right, you do the road raging sphero for me. <laughs> okay, just to demonstrate, oh. and then I don't have any KFC sphero. Oh no, you have one? No. Okay, I'm getting the road raging sphero. Okay, demonstrate to me the road raging one. Good job. Go to McDonald's. Oh, you're going to McDonald's. <laughs> P-R-R. No. A-H-H. -H. No, I'm in jail. I can break out, but the guards are too strong. Wait, I can do the Henry Stickman distraction dance. Let's try it. Hey. Yes. Look at this. B. Boo. Ba. Dumb. You do. You do. B. Boo. Ba. Dumb. Yes. <laughs> and the um the sphero massage, which is supposed to make your hand move. Okay. You have to hold a sphero though. Yeah, I know. All right. Maybe I move to the next one first. You check. Uh Shotaro, I remember you went to demonstrate what you've done. You unmute. So I updated, I updated the rocket thing. The rocket. Yes, the rocket. Um, there's extra story parts. Yes, that's um, what I want to hear. Three, two, one, blast off. Can you please stop breaking? Can you please stop breaking? Finally, where am I? I am at a rally in shop. I crashed. Ouch. That hurt. It's raining. Wow. I hate aliens. I will get revenge. Don't you got aliens now? Yes, somewhere. I won. Let's go. Alien, not for long. Goodbye. Okay. That's so good. The Sandro. You want to demonstrate or you have questions? I want to demonstrate. Yes, I want to see what you do. I am spinning clockwise. I am KFC. <laughs> I am spinning <laughs> clockwise. I am KFC. What if you turn the fancy clockwise? I am spinning clockwise. I am KFC. I am spinning anti clockwise. I am KFC. <laughs> you also KFC anti clockwise. Oh no. I put it at the end of loop forever. I put it um oh, like at the, the loop last forever thing one. for loop forever. Oh, good job. Great job, Centro. Michelle? I have a question. Yes. Uh, my I said who um for speak. Can you see? Uh, I can't really see very clearly. Yes. Uh, for speak, I said who let the dogs out, and it's not working. Who let the dog out? Yeah, and it's not working. Do you turn on the volume? You need to turn on the phone volume. I did. Can you try? It's not working. Ah, interesting. 
It should. Oh. Maybe your phone, did you, you have sound problem with your phone? No. Ah, it should, it should it's just work. It's on full volume. Not full volume? Yeah. Oh. Interesting, it should work. Because when you speak something, they just, just say it. Maybe uh, restart the program. Read you and try again. Okay. Unless you go through Bluetooth, you have a Bluetooth headphone. No. No. Okay. Maybe try to restart the Spiro Edu program. Monisha, you have question or you want to demonstrate? No, you said that you couldn't see that. You you said that you couldn't see her. Her um like her thing, like you couldn't see her code. It's because of her background. She has a black. Oh yeah, she do the, the blurry her... background. That's why. Yes, yeah, you're right. Her... And the background only does not work on faces. Whenever it sees a face, it won't yeah, it's work. Blurry. On it. Yes. Yes. Thank you. All right, I think time's finished, unless you want to do something. Anyone else? Perfect. Demonstrate or what creative story you can create with Spiro Mini using, I want, today I want you to learn how to use the actual Spiro Mini. You don't just use big block. You can use Spiro Mini to control things, what you do. You create the whole story with Spiro Mini rather than just speak. The speak is from, I think, week four. You learn about sound and stuff. Okay. Ishak, okay, you want to demonstrate? Spiro massage. It well, it just goes crazy on hand on the land, but it just goes crazy on your hand. Oh, uh, it, did you make a squirrel me jumping around? No, I'm. I did the um the right motor two hundred twenty five and the left motor two hundred twenty five made speed two hundred twenty five. Everything maxed for ten seconds. But I made it loop forever. Okay, can you show me? Um, wait, hold on. Okay, I got it. Now I, now I. This is the this is the code. Hey, I forgot. I, for, I turned it on right before. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so this is the code. Okay, I stop. I mean, I stop. Um, Share. Stop sharing first. And then, and then I'm going to pin you first. Look. What you doing? You got so many blocks. Yes, and I made it loop forever. What yeah. they're doing? You make a crazy zero mini. And this is what it's going to be like if you put it on land. Okay, show me. Start the program. And this is what it's like if it's on your hand. It feels so good. Oh, it's running like mad. It's become a massage. It's vibrating. Yeah. Okay, it's like a massage. Okay. Oh, you just go left, right, and rotate a lot, right? Did you? Uh, yes. Also, also, I, also, I'm working on a, uh, on a video game one and I made it only accessible with the, um, Sphero Bolt because, yeah. because there are a lot of characters and what, then you can't see them. Okay. So, so if the, if the robot is Bolt, but I made it mini because I can, I, 
or should I test it? I might say, hey there, welcome to Carnival Cruise. My name is Jack. I will be your host on this floating party. Be sure to explore. You can be surprised with the amount of secrets. Hey. And then there's a burger thing. Money. Rude. Okay. Um, and then Jack comes back. Welcome back. Did you have fun exploring? That's great. Now it's time to play a game. Pay attention to the rules. I'm going to ask for a random item that is hidden somewhere around this cruise. Whoever finds it first gets 15 cruise bucks. Give me a fork. And then it rolls zero degrees at 25 speed for nine seconds. Dot, dot, dot. Bolt has found it first, which is you. Coin drop. Time to pick another item. Bring me a toilet paper. You see the toilet paper after rolling zero degrees? Dot, dot, dot. Sphero, the best one, one, one has found it. Coin drop. You guys are great findings. For our last item, bring me a golden ticket. Okay. Uh, find golden ticket. Bolt has found it first, which is you. You guys are too goodness. Uh, <laughs> you guys are too good for this. Let's change the game. This this get time we are playing dodgeball, and if you're not if your um robot is not a ball, then it said you cannot join. Sorry. Also, the reason also I'm actually taking this from a script. Uh, well, I'm not actually taking the script, but I'm but I'm just copying all the words and I'm trying to make my best. Okay. Also, well done. Also, well done, Jack. Also, what about the disco one? Uh, I think we run out of time. I will see you next week and I will see your disco one next week. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Oh. Sorry, Jack. I think we're out of time. Oh, you turn on the LED? Oh, okay, I understand. Oh, great job. You make all the, all the zero turn all the lights. Okay, the disco zero. Great job. So everyone, yeah, it's great jobs. We we go through quite a lot of um, creative ideas using Spiro Mini. I, I teach you the basic one, but then you can just build on top of that. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to see you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.